hello welcome to my channel today we have a baby missing Ch chamary chamary clarence coleman forgive me i don't know how to pronounce that um date of last contact july 24th 1993 nine pounds he had a split earlobe he was last seen with a family member who was later found deceased. The child had a split on his right earlobe. He may have a mole behind his left ear. Uh, black hair, brown eyes. And this is supposed to be a picture of what a split earlobe might look like. Um, no information on clothing. There's a picture of him as a baby. They have some age progress photos of what he may have looked like later on. A composite. Um, Charlie Project. He was two months old. Non-family abduction. Him and his mother, Cheryl Larissi Coleman. Forgive me if I'm not pronouncing that right visited her brother's residence during the early morning hours of July 24th in Brunswick, Georgia. Cheryl and Jeremy left the house at about 3 a.m. Her brother offered to give them a ride back to their home, but she said she would walk. So they were last seen together at a gas station on Newcastle and O Street. They apparently got into a pickup truck di driven by Carl Harris. Her body was discovered at about 9 a.m. six after hours she was last six hours after she was last seen in Academy Creek, several blocks from her brother's home. The creek is infested with snakes and alligators. Authorities determined Cheryl was a homicide victim. Her body was nude and had been mutilated. There was no sign of the baby at the scene, but his baby carrier and blanket were left behind. Carl Harris was charged with both his and his mother's homicides and he bled, pled guilty to the crimes. He was sentenced to two terms of life in prison without parole plus 20 years for assault. He has a prior criminal record for burglary, assault, and escape. He also strangled Essie Marie Dowdy in November of 1993 and attacked a female acquaintance in October of that year. He stated that he killed Cheryl in a wooded area on Homer Wilson Way on Andrews Island, then left the baby at the edge of Academy Creek after he put her body in the water. Um, there's no telling if that's true or not, but the jammery is still missing. So it's believed that he may have been swept away by the high tides, which is very sad and horrific. So if you have any information about him, um, please contact authorities and let them know. Don't forget to pray for his family and his loved ones. Feel free to leave comments and have a blessed day. Bye-bye.